Hi, I'm Jeremy Wade. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster, and I had the chance to experience the effects of it when we filmed an episode of River Monsters there in season five. We knew that it was going to be a very different episode, not just from the point of view of weighing up the risks, but also visually. Occasionally you will stumble on a hotspot, a place where there is a, a sudden spike in your reading, and if, if you were to stand in a particular place for even half an hour, which you might well do if you're fishing, you're going to get an unsafe dose. The only reason we actually got permission to fish there is because we were working in collaboration with a scientist. And part of the deal was, if I caught anything, uh, for once this wouldn't be catch and release, I would actually hand that over to the scientist and he would use it as a scientific specimen. And one of the things that he wanted to check was any sort of mutation that they could pick up at, at a cellular level. And they did find mutation at a cellular level, nothing that you can actually see um, in the structure of the animal. But one thing that was particularly interesting was that um, the growth rate of this, this creature was um, significantly less than you would expect. You never know where fish are going to turn up. Fish are very tenacious. They are very vulnerable to human activity, but give them a, give them a chance and they will, they will live and even thrive in some very unlikely environments.